next guest is known for Lost, The Vampire Diaries, and V Wars. He's also the maker of a bourbon called Brothers Bond. It doesn't come with a clip. So instead, here's a look at his love of high fives from last time he was on. <laughs> Yes, there you go, sister. <laughs> Please welcome Ian Somerhalder. Come on. What's up, everyone? Hi. First of all, love that you're walking in with bourbon. I know, I've never um, done that on a and talk we, show I'm before. so sorry we can't high five. I know. I know. Now, what are we going to do? <laughs> I guess we can drink. Okay. <laughs> um, I love I love this. I'm excited to try it. Guys, it thanks good. for... Thank you for coming. Thanks for... I, this is, I haven't done this yet. You haven't? COVID. No. Oh, these are, they're all really here. I mean, they're Hi, not really everyone. here, but they're live, and they actually can hear us, and we can talk to them. This so. is our other special guest. <laughs> Brothers Bond, you what a cool sit name. sit there, baby. Yeah. It's really cool. So you and Thank Paul, you. right? It's Paul and myself, and we, you know, this is, I, I mean, I don't know any other authentic thing that Paul Wesley and I could be doing um, 10 years in the making. We were on television for eight years. I don't know. We were on the show called The Vampire Diaries. I don't know if you Yes, and you always had the liquor cart. That's what, I mean, whatever, I watched it, maybe. Well, Damon was a total lush. Uh, <laughs> And he drank bourbon at seven in the morning. Yeah, so he's a vampire. He was a vampire. Yeah, a so. lush, a lush vampire. Yeah. But oh, by the way, my mom and my mother-in-law both say they love you. Oh. And I know they don't know you, but people just love this show. You, oh. You know, everybody you I know, know watches you this watch. show. I'm pretty much the identical person right here that I am in my life. Yep. Oh, well yep. Then, like, see, Chris was like, yep. We should all just <laughs> yeah. live no. with Kelly, I, I guess. I mean, I'm just then. saying the good and the bad. It's just what it is. No, um, it's really amazing. I mean, seeing, you know, people be able to sort of carry this torch through this crazy time is really, really special. And by the way, a lot of people are, you know, there are a lot of companies being built. This thing we built during COVID. I know a lot of things are coming out of it, like silver lining kind of thing. It is silver lining. Let's talk about this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. No, I do want to talk about bourbon. I love bourbon. Why did you go bourbon? Why'd you do bourbon? Why so did you choose bourbon, that? Paul and I love bourbon. Yeah. And the boys bonded over bourbon on the show. On screen, Paul and I bonded over bourbon. Off screen, Paul likes to remind me it's the only way that he could tolerate me. <laughs> um, <laughs> But we had this bond over this amazing liquid. I'm from Louisiana. We take it very seriously. We name streets after bourbon. Yeah. Um, but Paul was from Europe. His, fam or his family's from Europe. He's from the East Coast. And he moved down to Atlanta. And all of a sudden, he's exposed to so much of this great brown liquor called mm. bourbon. And we just, we loved it. What about Brothers Bond? Is that just from, is it a tie-in, obviously? It's clearly a nod to our characters. Yeah. But also, too, in a time in which... And Paul and I talk about this with our team all the time, which, by the way, most of my team is all in Texas. It's like so very you Texas, wisely. Texas, Texas. All right. Yeah, right? <laughs> but the idea is, is that in a time in which we need unity and community more than mm -hmm. ever, bonding in any way you can get it, it's now. Yeah. And that is our company ethos, which is to encourage bonds, strengthen bonds, both new and old. And through that, I think through that company ethos and through that sort of the idea that bonding is important, talking is important, sharing is important, mm -hmm. we're going to really get to a, a great place. And this is the company that will do it. And, you know. I love it. Yeah, it's really special. So I want to taste it. So listen, here's what, we, here's what we were chasing. This okay. is why it took us over a year to blend this in my living room, in my kitchen. There were measuring, uh, graduated measuring cylinders all over the house. Our wives thought we were crazy. By the way, this was like 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. But we were chasing what at times felt like a ghost. So this is smooth, smooth, but super complex. 
complex enough for someone who loves bourbon, smooth enough for someone who doesn't drink bourbon. And when we give this to people that don't drink bourbon, they go, oh, I didn't realize I like bourbon. Oh, but that's it's only great. your bourbon. So Yeah. So you're My gonna, mouth is watering just from that teaser. So the okay. idea is it's called an equal sensory proportion, meaning you're going to taste all the grains over your tongue. Okay. But kind of in harmony and balance. Okay. I am all, all about right. harmony and balance, y'all. Okay, let's do it. Cheers, my Here friend. Here we go. Mm. Whoa, that is smooth. Thank you. No sister. joke. I, I don't have any work after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink like with you. Um, well, everybody, you've got to, I've been sipping on this. This is so good. No joke. Brothers Bond Bourbon is available online and in stores and select markets across the country starting May 1st. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Ah.